Oh, hey, Professor Ginger. Hey, are you ready to help make our number bonds video? <laughs> All right, let's go. We use number bonds to put numbers together, to take numbers apart, to help us solve problems, and to help us understand number stories. Number bonds can look like this, like this, like this, or like this. They can go in any direction. A number bond has a hole and two parts. The hole has two lines connected to it, and each part has one line connected to it. Hey Ginger, let's go get some items and learn some more about number bonds. Let's go. All right, Ginger, you found our number bond. Hey, you're sitting in the hole. All right, I need you to go find something we can use to show how our number bond works. Oh, good job, Ginger. You brought some cubes. I see some red and blue cubes. Let's use our number bond to put some numbers together. We put the two red cubes in the first part and the three blue cubes in the next part. What happens if we put these cubes together into the hole? Let's see, Ginger says five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if she's right. Way to go, scholars. Good job, Ginger. When we put the two red cubes and the three blue cubes together, we got one, two, three, four, five cubes in all. Two and three makes five. All right, Ginger, go find something else we can use to see how our number bonds work. Great job, Ginger. We can use those tennis balls to show how to take apart numbers using our number bond. I'm gonna put those tennis balls in the hole. There we go. Ginger, how many tennis balls are in the hole? Good job. There are four tennis balls in that hole. Now we're gonna take that number four apart. And this is for you scholars. How could we separate those tennis balls into two parts or two groups? Let's see if your sorting rule matches mine. Here we go. I'm gonna put the two bigger tennis balls in one part and the two smaller tennis balls in the other part. And we're going to see how we could take apart that four. Awesome job, scholars. We found one way we could take four apart. Four is the same as two and two. All right, Ginger, let's go find one more thing we can use to show how number bonds work. Hurry up. Oh, good idea, Ginger. We can use Axel's cat toys to show how our number bonds work. Wait a second, did you ask Axel if you could use his cat toys? Okay. Let's use his cat toys to show how to put numbers together again. I'm gonna put some cat toys in one part and one of the cat toys in another part. Can you guess how I'm going to sort those cat toys? Ah, let's see if the scholars can guess. All right, scholars, see if your sorting rule matches mine. All right, I put the two toy mice in one part and the one scrunchy ball in the other part. What will happen when we put these toys together in the hole? What number will we get? Hmm, <coughs> Ginger says three. Let's see if she's right. Way to go, scholars. Good job, Ginger. When we put those cat toys together, we got one, two, three. Three cat toys. Two and one makes three. All right, Ginger. I think we're ready to use number bonds in our class 
to take apart numbers and put numbers together. What do you think? <laughs> All right, way to go. Thanks, Professor Ginger, for helping us make our video on number bonds. We're ready to do some adding and subtracting. Way to go.